Queen Maxima of the Netherlands opens a building in Maastricht. Queen Mary of Denmark attends an award ceremony in Odense. King Philippe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain chair a meeting in Madrid. And Queen Rania of Jordan gives a commencement speech in Amman. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Thursday, May 30th, 2024. In Amman, Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan, as chairwoman of the Board of Trustees, gave the commencement speech during the 2024 International Academy Amman graduation ceremony. In her speech, the Queen said, quote, I stand before you today to tell you, this is the day you transition to the school of life. And to excel, I advise you to carry all that you have learned with you. Knowledge is power, and there is no power greater than knowing who you are. You are the people of the land steeped in history, so be proud of where you came from. A holy land marked by the footsteps of prophets, witness to the Isra and Mirage, the birth of Jesus, and the strike of Moses' staff. It is a patch of earth blessed by God to become a cradle of civilizations, a wellspring of knowledge, and a birthplace of cultures. You are the people of strong resolve. So live up to that and be proud of your homeland. Be like our Jordan, generous, steadfast, and resourceful. Follow the example of this great country. Its humanity is limitless and unconditional. It calls for peace and pursues it tirelessly. Its arms are wide open and its motto is compassion. Remember that you are ambassadors of your country and your identity. Stay true to the ideals you have been raised on and share the stories of your fathers, mothers, and your ancestors. Tell them about our people, our land, and our history. I wish you all the best always. As long as you are well, then our Jordan is well. May God bless you and light your way forward. End quote. His Majesty, King Abdullah II of Jordan, and His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan, held a meeting with the President of the Czech Republic, Peter Pavel, at Al Husseinia Palace. According to the Royal Hashemite Court, during the meeting, the King spoke about the friendly and deep rooted ties between the Kingdom of Jordan and the Czech Republic. The King also spoke about the, quote, need to end the humanitarian crisis in Gaza and step up international efforts to maximize the delivery of sustainable relief and medical aid. The King stressed the importance of concerted international efforts to reach an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza. End quote. In Monacoville, His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II of Monaco, accompanied by members of the Prince's government, presided over the inauguration of the Václav Havel bench in the Pavilion Bozio Gardens at the École Supérieure de Plastique. The memorial bench was designed by architect Mr. Borek Shipek. According to a press release from the Sovereign Prince's government, the bench is a, quote, place of memory inspired by the democratic ideals of Mr. Havel, who was the first president of the Czech and Slovak Federal Republic from 1989 to 1992, and then the president of the Czech Republic from 1993 to 2003, end quote. The press release goes on to note that the installation of the bench symbolizes openness towards dialogue and democracy. The two metal garden chairs are connected by a round table and in the middle of which grows a lime tree, the Czech national tree. On the bench is Mr. Havel's motto, quote, truth and love must prevail over lies and hatred, end quote. The memorial bench is now present in 52 countries on three continents, including the Middle East, and North America. In Madrid, their majesties, King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain, as honorary presidents, presided over the first meeting of the Real Patronato de la Galeria de las Colecciones Reales, held at Palacio Real de Madrid. 
According to the Royal Code of Spain, the purpose of the Real Patronato is to, quote, support and provide technical advice to the Patrimonio Nacional Administration Council in relation to the Galeria de las Colecciones Reales to contribute to the fulfillment of its purposes and the objectives defined by the organization. The purposes of the Galeria de las Colecciones Reales, namely, to serve as a cultural showcase of the Patrimonio Nacional and the diversity and exceptional quality of the royal collections and the palaces, the monasteries, churches, and natural spaces that comprise it. End quote. In Copenhagen, Her Majesty, Queen Mary of Denmark, chaired a meeting of the Mary Foundation's Presidium at Frederick VIII's Palace at Amalienborg. During the meeting, the Queen gave a speech, stating, quote, There is no doubt that the Mary Foundation's vision has only become more important since we founded the Foundation, especially when we look at our children and young people. I hear it from all sides. Far too many settle on communities and relationships. The result is that far too many are unhappy and that far too many experience loneliness. It must and must have our full attention. End quote. In the afternoon in Odense, the Queen presided over the presentation of the 2024 Leonie Sonning Music Prize held at the Odense Concert Hall. Established in 1959, the Leoni Sonning Music Prize is the largest Danish music prize and is presented to an internationally recognized composer, musician, conductor, or singer in classical music. The prize is presented annually and is worth 1 million Danish krone. The winner of the Leoni Sonning Music Prize went to Swiss flutist Mr. Emmanuel Pahud. This evening in Copenhagen, His Majesty, King Frederick X of Denmark, attended the 2024 Brain Prize and Gala Dinner at Villa Copenhagen. The Brain Prize, awarded annually by the Lundbeck Foundation, is the largest brain research prize in Denmark. The prize is worth 10 million Danish krone, which is approximately 1.3 million euros, and is presented to one or more brain researchers who have had a groundbreaking impact on brain research. The winners of the 2024 Brain Prize went to Mr. Larry Abbott, Mr. Terence Senjowski, and Mr. Haim Samopolensky for their, quote, pioneering contributions to the field of computational and theoretical neuroscience and have made seminal contributions to our understanding of the principles that govern the brain structure, dynamics, and the emergence of cognition and behavior, end quote. Congratulations, Larry, Terrence, and Haim. Well done. I had brain freeze right there. In Stockholm, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria Sweden, as an honorary member of the International Paralympic Committee, held a meeting with representatives from the Swedish Parasport Association. During the meeting, the representatives informed the Crown Princess about the upcoming Paralympic Games in Paris, France, beginning on August 28th through September 8th, 2024. According to the Royal Court of Sweden, quote, the Games will gather over 4,400 of the world's most prominent Paralympians. Over 11 days, 184 nations compete for the medals in 22 sports. The Crown Princess will attend the Games from September 6th through the 8th, end quote. On Wednesday in Stockholm, His Majesty, King Carl Gustav of Sweden, and His Royal Highness, Prince Carl Philip of Sweden, presided over a commemoration ceremony at the Maritime History Museum on the occasion of National Veterans Day. On Wednesday, their Royal Highnesses, Crown Prince Haakon and Crown Princess Mette Marit of Norway, and His Highness, Prince Sver Magnus of Norway, hosted the ninth edition of the friendly football match between Team Skagum and Team Roa Unified Kids, 
held at Skagum Stadium. The football match, a collaboration between the Crown Prince family of Norway and the Norwegian Football Association, lasts for two halves of 15 minutes each. So, who won the match? Roa, Unified Kids. In Maastricht, Her Majesty, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, presided over the opening of the new headquarters of DSM Fermanich. According to RVD, in 2023, the Dutch DSM merged with the Swiss Fermanich. The new company is active in health, nutrition, personal care, and perfumery. After the inauguration, the Queen was given a tour of the sustainable building, which has enough space for more than 600 employees, and learned about the, quote, various aspects of the construction, as well as spoke with several company employees, end quote. And finally, on Tuesday evening in Munich, the House of Wittelsbach announced the birth of a royal highness, Princess Letizia of Bavaria. The princess was born on April 9, 2024, to the Royal Highnesses Prince Hubertus and Princess Katiana of Bavaria. In a statement from the House of Wittelsbach, it noted that the parents are, quote, delighted with the numerous congratulations and would like to express their heartfelt thanks to everyone, end quote. Prince Hubertus is the son of Prince Adalbert of Bavaria and the nephew of Prince Leopold of Bavaria. Prince Hubertus is also the grandson of the late Prince Constantine of Bavaria. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Friday, May 31st, with all the latest world news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you, a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. One more thing. I would like to apologize for not uploading videos on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Where I live, it's green season, also known as winter, and we've been having severe weather Heavy rain, lightning, thunderstorms, and with that comes power outages. So I'm so sorry I was unable to upload videos on those days. So I hope you can accept my apology. Okay, have a wonderful evening, everyone. Take care.